Let's do one more simple one. I'm going to make a new document. Uh, I need this two inches by two inches at 150 pixels per inch, just like the instruction says. Tell it OK. Here we go. Make a new layer. I choose the shape. And here we go. Switch the shape out to, uh, let's say, a star. Do we have stars? Let's load in some more. We have arrows, artistic banner film, frames, grind, grimes, and vector pack. Let's do web. We'll append. That's kind of boring. I know they have a star. Let's do all and replace everything. Here we go. I know there's a star in here somewhere. I don't want that. I want like the actual pretty, pretty star. It's close. We might just use the sheriff's badge. Here it is. Knew there was a star. Grab the sheriff. Grab the star. We're going to do uh, pixels, and then that means when we draw it, and I'll hold down Shift to constrain it, it will produce a pixel star, or it will if I have the settings right, which apparently I do. I do not. Uh, I do actually. I just have the color wrong. See, it was white. Um, so with the normal mode pixels star shape I get a star but I'm not going to do normal mode I'm going to do multiply I'm going to bring up the color swatches and we're going to do some colorful little stars holding down shift and then maybe another star and shift and grab another color and shift and then grab another color maybe this one and shift and we start getting these cool different colored stars. So now I'm going to have a little more fun, I'm going to edit, transform, and I'm going to rotate. Making sure that they stay within the bounds, so I'm not cutting them off. Now I'm going to go to uh, filter, other, offset. And notice that it doesn't seem to be repeating, they're just flying off the page. We have an issue. What do we do? Grab the crop tool, hit enter a couple of times, and that should do it. And if it doesn't, there's another way. Filter other offset. That did it. If you still have issues, though, you can always do this. Control A to get the size of the working space. Then filter other offset, and that will let you go through. All right, I right, deselect, make a new layer, grab some more colors, grab my star shape, Shift click, shift click, maybe some yellow ones. Shift click, shift click. Okay, and notice now, even though we have it set to multiply, it's not multiplying over them. That's because we need to set the layer to multiply at this point because the uh, layers are not interacting even though the stars would be. Okay, and I'm going to do a transformation on this, Control T, and rotate those guys the other direction. be like that and flatten that down do a filter other offset and notice again it's going all wonky I forgot to crop you got to do that don't don't let don't be like me don't forget to crop now I can do a filter other offset oh and if it's still doing it you could do this control a wow filter other offset There we go. Look at all that space right there. I don't know. It doesn't look like it's doing it. No, nope, it's it's fine. Okay, weird. Deselect. Grab the shape tool. Just go ahead and leave it on multiply. It will function properly on here. I'm not going to rotate this one, so I'm just going to plop these guys down. Maybe a little lavender one. Maybe two lavender ones. And maybe another orange one. Okay. So here is our little star pattern. Let's take a look at how it looks like. We're going to go to edit to find pattern. Call it, we should name it something star pattern let's make a new document we'll make it huge 
12 by 10 at 300. That's actually normal print style thing. Well, 300 is the 12 by 10 is just random numbers and we'll make a new pattern fill. Voila, we've got stars. Uh, this orange star is sticking out like a sore thumb. So probably a good idea to come in with another orange star and we'll come in with the shape again and maybe a a star and then move this star. so i made a new layer drew the star holding down shift set it to a multiply oh that's going to hide it a little much and let's rotate it maybe the other way and i want this offset so control a and then filter other offset zero zero Move it over a little bit. Maybe like that. It should be peeking up. It's really hard to see. It is not. It's once again, we have weird extra pixels. Let's hit the crop tool a couple times. And then control A, filter other offset now this should there we go now it's working gotta keep that that's gonna get me one of these times i'm gonna end up causing damage everywhere here we go so don't forget to do those offsets okay and grab that shape tool and one more orange orange star whoops grab the lasso tool cut it paste it Maybe over here. Oh, I caught the tip. Eep. Look at that. <sighs> Lasso tool. Lasso tool. Wow, what is going on there? Don't lock all linked layers. Just give me the lasso tool. It's L on the keyboard. I keep getting tips of things. Look at that. And then missing tips. All right. <laughs> and then enter. And we'll just set this to multiply. All right, and save. Oh, we haven't saved this? Stars, <laughs> okay. And now we will do an edit define pattern. Oh, although we could have some fun. Make it transparent. I like that idea. And uh, let's merge it down. Edit define pattern. Wherever edit define pattern is, there it is. Okay. And we'll pop it in over here, pop that away. And now we'll fill, or I could miss, pattern. Here we go, that's a little bit better. The orange star is still kind of sticking out. It would be good to move those around a little bit. Otherwise, there you have it. Just using the shapes, I was able to produce a pretty fun thing, but here's something pretty cool because we use transparencies. I can fill that in with other colors. And then the orange won't stick out like such a sore thumb depending on what's going on. You can fill it in with whatever. Anyway, that's a, just another simple way to produce a pattern. On to a big one. We're going to go ahead and using photos, assemble a repeating pattern. All right, see you next video.